Hello, my name is Russell Boudry, Router Product Manager here at Multicam. And here on the Apex 3R, we're introducing sheet size vacuum zones. Now this is important because no matter what vacuum pump that you have, you're gonna always wanna concentrate that vacuum and holding power to the sheet that you have. Right here behind me, I have a great example of a four foot by four foot piece of material and an open area behind it. I'm gonna want a zone that concentrates this vacuum to this sheet. When you receive your machine with sheet size zones, there will be four pneumatic valve zones controlled by simple switches located at the operator keypad stand. We'll talk more about the specific operations of the zone switch in a moment. When zone one is activated, it will control these four ports, zone two, zone three, and zone four. To optimize these zones on your five x 10 vacuum work area, we suggest you first run gasket tape around the outside perimeter. Multicam has designed the grid pattern to be open format allowing flexibility to adjust gasket tape to your specific needs, but for the purposes of this video, we'll put the first strip of gasket tape at the 48 inch NY, then a couple of more at 48 inches and 96 inches down X. Placing your gasket tape in a similar fashion will establish your zone one as a four foot by four foot vacuum area, then a zone two is another four foot by four foot area, two foot by four foot area in zone three, and then zone four will be a 10 foot by one foot vacuum zone area. This establishes all the standard sheet sizes of four by four, four by eight, four by 10, and five by 10. Additionally, you can establish a five by eight sheet size by simply installing a small strip of gasket tape here, and then install a multicam provided rubber stopper into this back port. Turning on zones one, two, and four will now easily establish a five by eight area. You now understand the four zone layout and operating these different zones with high efficiency for high production is easy with our zone switches. On will open ports for vacuum to flow. This allows for common tasks like setting surface of material or max depth of the spool board. Off will close ports to remove vacuum from the zone. Auto will open ports to secure material only during executing a job and close ports immediately after the job file is completed. Therefore, the normal state of zones is closed, allowing for quick parts unload, cleaning the table, and reload of new material. I'm now going to walk you through a common 4x8 sheet workflow situation. When doing initial setup for production, the operator will commonly slide material up onto, in this case, a 5x10 spool board. The vacuum pump will be turned on along with vacuum zone 1 for setting surface and or max depth. With this setup complete, you'll leave zones 3 and 4 off and zones 1 and 2 to auto. At this point, the vacuum pump is running, but no vacuum is being applied to the material. Once the job is started, zones one and two open immediately, concentrating your vacuum only in the four by eight sheet area, providing maximum hold down while your parts are being cut out. The moment the job is complete, vacuum zones automatically close, allowing parts and remnants removed spoil board cleaned, and new material loaded. In conclusion, one of my favorite sayings is, if you can't hold it, you can't cut it. I think you're gonna find that these pneumatic valves and sheet size zones is a great value add and an easy return on investment.